It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. Boxing King of Media in association with Boxer with me. Delighted to have with me two slick Chris Conga. Chris, thank you. I think you're looking very slick today. Thank you, thank you. So I just, you know, have to, have to, you know, be, be, have to basically present myself as my name, you know, today. So have to. What went into uh, the suit? Talk to me through the attire and the selection process. Well, hey, well, we got, we got to thank Disturbing Sports. We went over to the suit shop and said, let's pick some, pick a few colours out and see what works. And this worked lovely, you know. It's worked lovely, so I'm happy. Definitely looks good. Uh, Chris, would you say? This is your toughest fight today? No, it's not. I, I don't believe so. I think my last fight was a, a, a very tough fight. I think a um, fight with McKinson is tough. A fight with Luther Clay is tough. And obviously, don't forget Formella, Box, Sean Porter, Conor Ben. They're, they're tough fights, man. But the main thing is they were all exciting fights, you know. And they, they were good. And one thing, I'm never out of fight, you know. So that's one thing about me. You've, in the most respectful way, both of you have had quite a bit of inactivity of the last kind of 12 months. From your perspective, what was the reason for your inactivity for the viewers watching? Uh, small injuries, nothing major, but also just, you know, trying to get fights and stuff. So, yeah, man, that's, that's about it. But the main thing is, out of however I've been out for, I've probably been in the gym like majority of it you know so it's 13 months i've been in the gym for 12 months the rest is recovery time you know so yeah i mean you've had 83 odd rounds in your professional career florian has had about 70 so there isn't much difference what do you think is the difference and what will be the difference on sunday it's got to be the level of opponents the level of um, opponents and the i'll say the quality you know, the quality, I would say also as well, just the mindset and skill in this fight. You know, that's, that's, that's what separates us in terms of, uh, uh, terms of the rounds and stuff. Although this is a battle between yourself and, and Florian, could this also be a battle between a great coach in Ben Davison and a great coach in Grant Smith as well? Of course, I mean, you've seen, um, You've seen what our team have done this year. Just as, this is just a start. So we're not gonna say too much like I did today. Kept it classy, didn't say much. And we're gonna show why we're at that level on Sunday night. Does it help? You've been around a few gyms, right? Does it help when you've got a gym like the one that you have now with the Joshua's, the Wardleys, the Lee Woods and the other youngsters coming through? Does it help improve you and make you focus a lot more? Of course, hundred percent. Because you want to learn and take 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 a leaf out of their book, seeing AJ, seeing Lee Wood, seeing all the all the other top guys. You know, you want to take something out of their book. And trust me, all of us as fighters in there, we're definitely doing that. Why have you decided to come into our field and create your own YouTube channel? <laughs> Say that again, sorry? Why have you come to our field and created your own YouTube channel? Ah, uh, no, you see the content I'm doing? Boy, you got to give a big shout out to my management team, Disturbing Sports. They said, listen, this is the plan and we're going to run with it. And it started off very well, so we can't complain. Um, quick prediction on the main event. Obviously, Wally's on a, your gym mate, but fa Fraser's been around a long time. Um, what's your thoughts? I think it's a Fabio Wardley win. And I would I would go for a late knockout, in my in my my opinion. I just want to ask you about obviously a man that you wanted to fight and you've mentioned his name before in Conor Ben. We recently have heard some and I'm going to emphasise rumours that um, the board have won their appeal. We don't know what the consequences are. Does he continue? Does he get suspended again? Is he allowed to fight abroad? We just don't know the details. But just your reaction to kind of the whole process of the last nearly two years now and where we're, at, where we're at today. Okay, so, so the board won the appeal. So, all right, cool. That's an that's a, mm, interesting one. Um, I've never really spoken about it, you know, don't want to disrespect the man or anything, but like I always say, if he has, then he should be punished, you know. 
And if he hasn't, then he has to. Um, they, they have to do something. They they got they got to even compensate him if anything. So yeah, because as fighters, when we're sitting down like this, we ain't got no fights. We ain't getting paid. So yeah, man. I, I think if the board have won their appeal, then let's see let's see where it goes from there. You know. Final one. How does the fight end on Sunday night? Chris Congo win by any means necessary. Chris Congo, we wish you all the best over the next couple of days uh, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you after the fight on Sunday. Thank you. Cheers. I've got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.